Hey everyone, Bill Nichols here, Bill Nichols TV. Today, let's talk Lightroom and how to locate missing images that you can't find in your catalog. All right guys, so today I wanna to walk you through something. I'm here. If it sounds a little funky or it looks a little bit funky, I'm actually in a hotel in San Francisco traveling this week for a photo shoot, I've got a two-day architectural shoot, but I wanted to get a video out because starting this week, I'm gonna make sure that I'm getting videos out to you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and then um, any bonus videos that come in on Tuesdays and Thursdays are just bonuses. This week though, it's gonna be probably Monday, Wednesday, Friday. There might be a Thursday video. I will tell you that this week, I'm just gonna do a random giveaway. So currently I have, look over here, I have a uh, giveaway going for a bag right now, the CamSave Z14, awesome bag. But during the video this week, I'm just going to do a random giveaway to some lucky subscriber. It's going to be a good giveaway, so if you're not a subscriber, subscribe now, you'll be eligible. All that I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in, record a video, choose a random subscriber, send you something. I'm going to start doing these. I have a whole bunch of stuff right now for giveaways. I'm really excited. Um, as the channel is growing, I'm starting to get a little bit more exposure, starting to get some stuff from people, and i um, going to be able to offer you some random giveaways. So lots of great content coming up. DJI Mavic Pro stuff coming up. GoPro Karma stuff coming up. Um, I'm going to start doing some color grading, some editing videos. So in Premiere with uh, the DJI Inspire Pro, start showing you some new stuff. But today, I want to do another Lightroom video. And a problem that I often have in Lightroom is that I will, um, I'll go on a shoot, I'll shoot all of my stuff, and the way that I shoot is I shoot, I generally edit right then on my laptop, then I move it over to my desktop. And at some point in there, at some, at some time, I open up the catalog, I have a whole bunch of question marks where images are missing, and I've got to go find them, and I've got to relink them. So I want to show you that today, because if you ever, um, if you store your stuff on an external hard drive, or you change computers, or you store your stuff, stuff somewhere, or maybe you do an import where you just add it to your catalog instead of copying, and you've done that off maybe a USB stick or an SD card or something, and those images are on that card, you no longer have that card or that stick or that external drive plugged into your computer, you open up Lightroom and the images are missing, I'm gonna show you how you can copy those images somewhere and then relink them with all of your edits and everything that you have. So I have a, um, let's just jump right in here on ScreenFlow. So I have right now a catalog open. It's called LightroomMaster.LRCAT. This is a catalog that I opened from an external hard drive. So this is the culprit usually. This and just my speed and forgetting where my images are. It's on here. All of the images are on that external drive as well. So I've opened the catalog and let's just jump to a folder that I've used previously for some videos on here. The San Francisco images one. So right now you can see if you go through here all of these images are there, right? So I can open them up, I can do whatever, there's nothing missing with the images. So let's do this. Let's um, go back into this grid view. You can see they're all here. I'm gonna open up Finder. I'm gonna go ahead and close Lightroom really quick. Lightroom, quit Lightroom. So what I'm gonna simulate here is that I've done something with these images. I've moved them, I've copied them somewhere. They were somewhere other than Lightroom is expecting them. So let's go and find um, Lightroom Master Catalog Images. I believe um, San Francisco Images. These are them right here. Let's just rename this folder to San Francisco Images um, dash test. So now what's gonna happen is Lightroom has a cache of the file. So when it opens up, you're gonna see it but you're not going to be able to do anything to it or be able to affect that image because Lightroom can't actually find the image. So right now, let's go ahead and open Lightroom. We're gonna jump back into that catalog. And here's what you're gonna see. So let's go to all photographs, right? So we've got all of our photographs in here. If I'm just looking through the grid, I can see these photos here just fine, right? So like if I bring up this photo, um, you know, let's just bring up a random photo from this photo shoot. Right, so I bring up this photo, it's just fine, it's there. This is another folder, but let's go back to the grid view and find those San Francisco images, and you're gonna see something different than you saw the first time I opened the catalog. All right, they are right here. Okay, so if you notice, this image here is from the previous shoot. 
obviously a terrible image. Actually, what I was doing here is I was bracketing so that I was getting the elements outside the window to be properly exposed so I could Photoshop them in later. But let's go to the image next to it, and you'll see this exclamation point. So if I just hover over that, you see that it says photo is missing. And I can click on it, and it basically tells me this file name could not be used because the original file could not be found. Would you like to locate it? It says that the previous location, it gives me that location. Great. So what I've done here is maybe I open this up from an external drive, um, and now I don't have that external drive attached, or I had it on an SD card or something else. I could go grab those, or maybe I put them up onto a network drive that I'm going to attach them to. doesn't really matter what the location is, what happened here. All that I need to do is I need to find this file. So I can do one of two things. Let's... Um, Let's do this. Let's look for 0309-2016. So I've got Finder open here. 0309-2016. There we go. So it's popped up, 0309-2016. Now what I can do is when I click on one of these, I see down below the location, right? So and on, and on PC, it, it could be the same, right? I could right-click that image and say properties and find that file path or do whatever I wanted to do. So I see that it's under OWCHD, San Francisco Images-Test, 0309-2016, San Francisco. So let's close this. I'll just click on this, um, click on this icon right here. I'll say locate. Now I just found it in Finder by searching for the name that I grabbed from the other one. So let's go right here to um, San Francisco test. And now I'm looking for dash San Francisco dash one. And so let's go here. There it is. I found it. And find nearby missing photos. So if I have this checkbox here, then any photos in the catalog that are nearby um, that are missing, it's going to automatically link all those. If I uncheck that, it will find this one file. If I leave that checked, any in the catalog that are missing that are near this photo, it's going to go ahead and relink. So let's hit select. Now you can see all those check marks are gone. So all those exclamation points, they're gone. I can open this file up. There we go. I've got a raw file of this San Francisco shoot and it's all fixed. So really quick video there, how to locate missing files in Lightroom. I hope you found that helpful. Uh, for me, I'm missing files in Lightroom all the time. I have a pretty good solid workflow, which I am going to run through on another video in the future. But I use my MacBook. I use my iPad, which doesn't really affect the file location. I use my Mac Pro at home. And they go back and forth all the time. And <clears throat> while I have a good solid workflow, my organization, I'll just be honest, isn't the best. But it doesn't have to be. But here, I can easily find these. So I have a whole slew of attached storages at home because I have ones that are copied to each other that I really need to take some offline because it, find, it makes it really hard to find files. But um, I just go in there. I type in the file name. I find it. I go to that folder because I'm such a nutcase. So I go to that folder. I see if there's a whole bunch of files in there. If there are, then I know that that's the folder. And it's not just a folder that I moved a random file to. I let it link up. Lightroom usually fixes it. And that's it. So again, you know, you move, a, you move a folder, you take off a drive, you had an SD card, whatever, really quick way for you to find your files. And uh, that's it for Let's Talk Lightroom today, guys. I hope you like this video. Let me know, know down below if you have any other questions around this or any other Lightroom topic. If you have some ideas for some things that you would like to learn in Lightroom, let me know, and it'll give me some ideas for some videos. But uh, look for a new video on Wednesday, a new video on Friday. And like I said, a surprise giveaway this week. Um, I will tell you that the surprise giveaway is sort of drone based, but you can use it on anything. It's, um, it's going to be a really cool um, little device. You can use it on your drone. You can use it on your pet, your car, your kids, your backpack, anything. So I think you'll like it. So subscribe down below if you have it. That way you're eligible for the giveaway because I'm just going to choose a random subscriber. Then that's it, guys. And um, if you don't know, it's 7,500, which isn't that many away now. I'm giving away a killer camera bag. It's an anti-theft camera sling bag. Awesome bag. Um, go ahead and uh, go to this video that's over on the side. I don't know if it's this side or not. Um, if it's that side, then whatever. You're going to see a card. I'll put an annotation somewhere. You can just click there and then go take a look. And I've got a ton of stuff coming up. So subscribe so that you get the notifications. I'll talk to you guys soon. 
Have an awesome day. You keep watching. I'll keep making videos.